Hi, I'm Elite Series Professional Boyd Duckett. I want to talk a little bit today about things that you can do with the drop shot. Of course, what we have here is, a, is rigged as a fairly typical drop shot rig. I've got a little bit lighter weight on it. It's a 3 16 ounce weight. I've got one of my favorite all-time drop shot baits. This is the Berkeley Hand Pour Finesse Worm. Triple color. They come in multiple colors. This one's called Triple Margarita. It happens to be one of my favorites. But some of the things you can do with the drop shot, other than the standard cast and a lift and drop presentation. There are things you can do with the drop shot that will really make a fish bite. For instance, you can take the bait and oftentimes I'll pitch the bait over by a piece of cover. Maybe it's a boat dock, um, some underwater brush in front of the boat dock, the edge of a channel uh, that I'm fairly certain has fish because I'm not trying to cover a lot of water. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to catch the fish that I'm fairly certain are in that tight proximity. So I've thrown the bait out. Now instead of moving it or working it back to the boat or back to me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it basically on a limp line. And I'm going to try to make that worm stay in one place. And that super soft uh, hand pour finesse worm is just going to sit there and shake and quiver. Bass can't stand it. I have actually uh, gotten up on a brush pile in front of a boat dock and shook it in one place for as long as 45 seconds to even a minute. That's a long time when, you're, when your bait is in one location. And what you're doing is you're forcing that bass to come out and look at it. He can't stand it. He's finally going to eat it. So when conditions get tough, one of the favorite things that I do, pitch it over there, and fairly lightweight, throw it by your target, by your brush pile, by your boat dock, by your rock pile, and just shake that thing in one place. And what you'll find is eventually that rod tip will pull down. You set the hook and you're back in business. It's a fairly standard drop shot rig, a little bit lighter weight. I'll take the bait, and basically because I'm fishing around tight cover, a lot of brush piles, I'm, I remember we're looking for a location that we're fairly certain a bass lives, and you're trying to draw that bass out. Not that quick reaction strike, you're trying to force that fish to feed. So I'm going to Texas rig it. I like to use about a one-aught hook, a fairly simple, just a straight up Texas rig, and I've used a 3 16 fairly light drop shot weight. Uh, so, because I'm going to be in and around some heavy cover. So that's basically what we're rigging. I'm going to fish it primarily on a spinning rod. You don't have to, but I'm comfortable with that. Eight pound trilene, 100% fluorocarbon. Plenty of strength in that 100% uh, fluorocarbon. And that's basically our rig. And pitch it out. Remember to throw it close by it. Shake it. Force that fish to come out. Remember what you're shooting for and uh, it'll pick up some of your catches.